This is Neil Ratner Rock Talk here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock. Musician, singer, and songwriter Daryl Hall celebrated his 77th birthday this past week. Daryl was born and raised in Philadelphia and came from a very musical background. His father was a professional singer and his mother was a vocal coach who Daryl credits with teaching him to sing the correct way from his diaphragm. Hall enrolled at Temple University with a major in music, while at the same time working as both an artist and session musician with famed Philadelphia writers and producers Gamble and Huff. And it was during his time at university that Darrell met his future partner, John Oates. I met John. I was promoting my first single. I had a band, I had a group called the Temp Tones. And the we temp were tones. Temp Tones. Not because of the Temptations, because we were going to Temple University. And because uh, everybody thinks it's Temptations. So it was a vocal group, and uh, we, had a, we had a single uh, that we were promoting around the Philadelphia area, and we were doing uh, uh, one of those things where you'd go, it was, it was a complete R&B crowd, and everybody would lip sync their song. And John had a single, and I didn't know him at the time, and he was also there to promote his single. So we were waiting backstage, and some fight broke out or whatever, and the whole show just went to pieces and was canceled. And um, we, were on a, we were on a second floor, and we went down in a lift together in an elevator, and I said hello to John. I said, hey, how you doing? And that was it. And I found out he was, he was also a freshman at Temple. And uh, so then we, we started talking, and we realized, of course, we like the same kind of music. And uh, we started sharing apartments together because we were both, our parents lived out, out of town, and we didn't want to be on campus. So. We became sort of college roommates, playing songs together, in and out of bands together, uh, again, working very much separately as well. And then after college was over is when we decided to try writing songs together and be Daryl and John. And if you live here in the Hudson Valley, you probably know about Daryl Hall's other project, Daryl's House in Pauling, New York, a combination restaurant live music club that Daryl started about 15 years ago after the success of his TV show, Live from Daryl's House. Rich Girl was the first Hall & Oates single to hit number one on the Billboard Top 100. The character in the song is based on a real person, Victor Walker, the spoiled heir to a fast food fortune who had dated Sarah Allen, Daryl Hall's longtime girlfriend. Meeting Victor inspired Hall to write the song, but he had to change the character to a girl since he was the one who would be singing it. However, according to Daryl, Victor knows the song is about him. Okay, let's listen. Hall and Oates and Rich Girl. You're a rich girl, and you're gone too far, cause you know it don't matter.